I love Christmas, and just like me, a lot of you good Christians out there are getting ready for the holidays. And I think it's about time we took a look at what the true meaning of Christmas is, and what it isn't. You know and I know that at the holiest time of year, the government is trying to tell you, you can't go to church and worship the baby Jesus because of COVID-19. They're even calling them super spreader events. Hogwash! <coughs> Our socialist government backed by the left-wing media mob is trying to tell you it's your responsibility to keep the China virus from spreading. Give me a break. The government needs to keep their nose out of your right to worship in the way you want. <coughs> <laughs> so this is what I'm advocating for now. The Christians to form a protest all around the postal locations in Chilliwack, blockading the delivery of all Christmas packages. Yes, we're going to hit them where it hurts, and maybe when those snowflakes waiting for their thoughtless, last-minute prime deliveries have their Christmas plans ruined, will they even begin to understand the hurt they've been engendering to all of you? It'll take a Christmas miracle to get the churches back open and the stolen election results in some certain states overturned. But with God on our side, I know we can do it. <coughs> Merry Christmas. Live from Chilliwack, it's the Chilliwack Tonight Christmas Special! Join Barris, Rachel and Jeff, and their guests, Chris Fassbender and Kyle Horton, Doug Wickers, John Barson, and Don Lane, special musical guests, Jay Gavin and his band, the Tanner Olsen Band, with a brand new song. Also, Brian Dirksen with Stephanie Esau. And now, Chilliwack Tonight! Chilliwack Tonight! Christmas edition! Yay. Ho, ho, ho! It's Christmas! Yay! And so glad it's finally here. And Rachel, this is the final episode of the season. Well, final regular scheduled episode. Right. We'll be back for the New Year's Eve. New Year's Whackin' Eve at Chilliwack tonight. Stay tuned for that, December 31st. That's going to be a really fun night, too. So, did you end up getting your secret Santa gift? Rachel, you know. Right? And as everyone does, I take Christmas very seriously. I love Christmas. Okay. So for the audience who is unaware, we decided as a team here, we were all going to select our own secret Santas uh, for everybody. And uh, I put a lot of thought into my selectee. I think they're going to be very pleased with their gift. I hope you picked me. Oh, I'll never tell. <laughs> well, I also put a lot of thought into it, so I hope everyone likes what I got them. What do you mean? It's one gift per person, right? And you don't spend over $25. You, you did a buy by that, right? Well... You better have. We gotta stick to a deal. We had a deal. I don't worry about things like that, so Come on. I put a little something beside your chair. I, this this is for me. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> so I, I guess you picked me as a secret Santa. That's such an amazing coincidence because I picked you as a secret Santa as well. Oh well, no, it's just a little something to show my appreciation for you, <sighs> man. Oh, well, I mean, thank you. Thank you. Your gift, by the way, is uh, just on the floor beside you there. Oh. Down there, yeah. Oh. I follow thank the you. rules, by the way. There's rules. There's a reason why we have... Oh, wow. What is this now? 
Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's a watch. It's beautiful. <laughs> Rachel, thank you so much. It's wonderful. Huh? What do you what do you think of your gift? What do you think? Huh? S stickers. Stickers. Yeah. Yeah. They're very versatile. You can you kind of stick them on anything. You can put them on your fridge. Huh? On your car if you want it. It's really kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. And, and within the budget that we set, within the $25 budget, right? <laughs> well within. You know what? I am so excited about tonight's show. We have three musical guests doing Christmas songs. We have Jay Gavin and his band, the Tanner Olson band, and Brian Dirksen, and Stephanie Esau. So you'll have to watch right until the end, meaning right after dawn. Right, right after dawn. It's going to be a massive Christmas show this week. And we also have a classic from the Caleb Dankworths of Chilliwack Twilight fame, whom I normally hate, you know, given our history on the show. But I gotta admit, they pulled together a three-minute opus that is sure to become a Christmas classic. <laughs> if Lego doesn't sue them for copyright infringement, you're gonna have to watch. Mm. And so much more all tonight on our holiday edition of... Show Act Tonight! <laughs> taking him so long, honey. We were all getting ready at the same time. This is ridiculous. Sorry, sorry. <sighs> got all bundled up and then had to pee. <laughs> I told you to go before we got ready, Caleb. I did go, then I had to go again. Yes, the gift that keeps on giving. Well, let's go. Oh crap, I forgot the keys. Just gonna pee quickly too. This thing won't start. Heck, Nabbit. What's your language, Caleb? It's Christmas time. Uh, oh, that's pretty. Caleb's gonna beat us again this year. I don't know why you have to make it a race there every single year. Because if I don't beat him, then he won't stop talking about it until next summer. Yes! <laughs> Take that, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, can you slow down a bit? You know there's a baby on board, right? Well, tell her to stop being such a baby. We have to beat Caleb there. Every stupid year. What was that? Oh, nothing. Mm -hmm. What is that? What's what? That whistling sound. Uh, what whistling sound? That, that you didn't hear that? Okay, okay, it's my nose, all right, okay? It whistles when I exhale. <sighs> well, this weekend's gonna be super annoying. Carol, exciting at Tuck to Yuck Tuck Station. Over. Did you pack any snacks? Yeah, there's some snacks in the back. All I have up here is your bottle. What does that stuff taste like? Oh, look, the cottage. Oh, and there's Caleb. Hang on, baby. No, yes. no, it was no, us. No, 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 that was no, us. No, we won. Us. Test the tape. We won. No, 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 guys, no way. This is Santa's gingerbread getaway. Hey, Reggie, Merry Christmas. Christmas. You're on the naughty list. Problem, Reggie? Uh, get out of here! Yikes. <laughs> well, it was worth a shot uh, again. Okay, uh, um, pizza? You wanna go for pizza? Yeah. Yeah. So, Barris, it's Christmas time. How does that make you feel? <laughs> In what way? Well, I mean, how do you feel right now? <laughs> really? 
Stressed? Uh, uh, of course. Yeah. It's that time of year that is so dichotomous. We're supposed to be happy and of good cheer, and then invariably the stress that comes with the season yes. catches up. How you're feeling is not so unique. Keep at it, it will all come together. Right? No, Barris, it's true, trust me. Is there anything in particular that's bothering you? Well, if I'm being honest, it's always down to Rachel. Now she's insisting everyone buy each other on staff a Christmas gift. It's so pushy. You know how expensive that is? Plus all the extra time looking for, finding a gift, wrapping it. I don't know these people. I don't want to know these people. Huh? You're still not feeling connected to the team. It's not that I'm not feeling connected. It's that I don't want to feel connected. I like keeping everything at this very superficial level. You know, always maintaining a thin veneer of a relationship, an electroplating, if you will, of a human connection. I love it. And why is that? Why don't you want deeper connections with the team? Well, I don't like them. Barris. I don't. Barris. All right. I guess it's really because I, I don't want to run, run the risk of becoming disappointed, all right? Well, now you know. Why do you think you'll become disappointed? <laughs> uh, it's, it's I, I always become disappointed. <laughs> is, it, is it back to that time we discussed from your childhood? Yeah. Maybe. The toboggan? Dutch bun! Hello, and welcome to another segment of Retrograde Romance with Rachel, the advice show that helps bring your love life one step forward and two steps back. For this week's Christmas show, we have a very special caller on the line. <laughs> Hello there. What is your question? <laughs> Hello, Rachel. Merry Christmas to you, and thank you for taking my call. Oh, well, hello, Santa. I do like your hat. What can I help you with today? <laughs> oh, thank you, Rachel. Well, as you know, it's been a very tough time of year for most of us since COVID came into the world. You see, I spend every day of the year with Mrs. Claus and the elves, except for Christmas Eve. It's the one night of the year where I can let loose, take off, and get some alone time. Mm. I see. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, I get to see the world, eat, drink, and sneak into people's homes. <laughs> it's the only thing I prepare for all year. And now this year, well, it may not be happening. I see, but what does this have to do with romance? Sadly, because of all this time cooped up, quarantined, with lockdowns, my marriage isn't going so great. So I thought one night away could help fix all that. But I may not get my chance to recharge, Rachel. Any suggestions? Well, with all due respect, Mr. Claus, aren't we being a bit selfish? Have you ever stopped to think about what Mrs. Claus would like, or perhaps how she may have been looking forward to an evening off from you as well? All these men, seriously, me, me, me. In a day and age where COVID is taking a toll on marriages, and most single people just get together during the winter months to stay warm and cozy, only to break up in the spring, you should consider yourself lucky to have someone who has stayed with you for the past 1,750 years. My suggestion is for you to take a nice night off and spice things up with your lovely wife. Remember what kissing under the mistletoe felt like? You can jingle her bells and take it from there. Maybe engage in some role playing. You're a reindeer and she's a gingerbread man or pamper her with a couple spa using essential oils like frankincense and myrrh to get her in the mood. Treat her to your fancy candy cane and roasted chestnuts and she'll be caroling in no time. After all, Christmas is about giving. Just remember to wrap it up. Well, I hope this helps. Be good to one another and have a Merry Christmas.
Rachel calling Rachel to the set. Rachel for Christmas Lockwood. Rachel. What are you, what are you doing here? Where's oh, Rachel? I sent her on an errand. <laughs> <laughs> she's late getting back. She's just wrapping presents in the in the break room. She's got tape stuck in her hair. The place is a mess. Did you say presents as in plural? Yeah. That girl never listens. We sat around as a group, as a team. We said, let's do Secret Santa. We'll, we'll pick each other's names. It's a secret. You get one gift under $25. That was it. That was all the rules. And now she's buying Christmas presents for everybody. It's going to make us look cheap. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it, man. Let's knock off this week's whack word episode. I mean, you don't like doing whack word with Rachel anyway. No, that's not true. It's just she's got a very weak vocabulary. Whack word. Totally attack word. Whack word. Whack word. The Christmas edition of the highly regarded Chilliwack Tonight feature that introduces and broadens your vocabulary. Someone on the Vetter Trail once, just once, told you that they liked it and you've extrapolated it into this, I don't know what, like the second coming Come or something. Come on, hey, 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 careful. This is a Christmas family show. Don't be going there, all right? All right, man. What are you going to try and stump me with this time? Well, I thought of a little rhyme that I would roll past you. How about that? Okay. You like I'm that? Ready. I'm ready for it. Okay, it's actually a word. The word rhyme. Rhyme as in R I. M E. Wow. Mm hmm. Hmm. You're looking a little bum fuzzled. Hmm. Wow. Well, can I, may I, use it in a sentence to help you out? Let's hear it. I woke up to an impressive rhyme this week, making me feel all Christmassy. So it's not someone speaking in rhyme, because the mm. spelling's different. Yep. Uh, another way of saying the outer layer. No, that's that's a different spelling too, isn't it? Uh I don't know. Ah, a Christmas cocktail, a mix of rum and lime, huh? You're so obvious, Jeff. You know, if it's not the Mary Jane, it's alcohol. Always something with intoxication, huh? Okay, what the hell is the word then? It's the frost formed on cold objects by the rapid freezing of water vapor in cloud or fog. Huh? Uh, okay, all right, my turn. Pretty good, eh? My turn. Nudia Sturgeon. Uh, do I need to remind you that we try to maintain an almost family-friendly atmosphere on this show? Uh, hmm? Keep it clean. Here's a sentence. I went for a walk on the Nudia Sturgeon. Or is it Monday? No, it's definitely the Nudia Sturgeon. Okay, you know what? That still sounds a bit vulgar. <laughs> but let's break it apart. Nude. Astrician. No. Sturgeon. Astrician. No. A naked pedestrian. No, no. God, man. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> it's not even close. The definition. Today is the third day. Or another way of saying the day before yesterday. Oh, man, that is a totally brutal, very unchristmas like attack word. But mentally, not a slack word. Uh, Jeff, where the hell are Barris and Rachel? Oh, uh, I don't know where Barris is, but Rachel I sent her on, on an errand. An errand? We're doing a show here. Well, she won't be very long. You, Jeff, what? you didn't send her to Dutch Brothers again, did you? Well, not directly. I mean, I mean she was going to go past the store uh, and get some treats for Chillock tonight for the Christmas party. So I thought, well, she might as well pop in. <laughs> She happened to be passing by. Dude. What? You have a problem. Did you at least get your uh, secret Santa done? Uh, yeah. Let me try to remember. Oh, yeah. I think we did. Yup. And I just wanted to say how happy I am to have you back on Chilliwack tonight. And, and to let you know that we're really enjoying working with you again, John. So, uh, Merry Christmas, man. Thanks. I, I got a gift for you right there on the desk if you look at to your, yeah, to your This? Room. Yes. This bag? Well, amazing wrapping, John. 
Boy, you really went to town with this one, Jeff. My wife wraps a much better present, but it's a nice gift. What the heck is this? Ah, it's a caulking gun. That'll help you fill the cracks, gaps, and holes in Paris' scripts for July tonight. <laughs> Perfect. Well, at least we have the Tanner Olsen man waiting. Right, with their brand new Christmas single that they actually wrote for Chill TV's Rotary Christmas Show. And I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, a new Christmas classic, Neon Mistletoe, by the amazing Tanner, Tanner Olsen, Olsen Band. Band. Christmas sweaters are on tied for the big night. We're all dressed up for the two, three. In the back of the cab, feeling tipsy. On the lights and it feels like home. Christmas, Christmas. It's the time of year we all come together. Kiss your girl like it's now or never. Festive lights will always shine You know there ain't no closing time Let's spread some Christmas cheer all night long Christmas, Christmas It's the time of year we all come together Kiss your girl like it's now or never Christmas, Christmas well, Let's make this night to remember Under the knee Stuff for the two, three in the back of the cab, feeling tipsy. On little lights, and it feels like home. Christmas, Christmas. It's the time of year we all come together. Kiss your girl like it's now or never. Christmas, Christmas. Well, let's make this night to remember. Uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome yeah, back yeah, to the yeah, Chill Rock yeah. Lake Christmas Party. Oh, oh thank you. Yeah, it's, right. uh, it's my great pleasure to uh, just be back in the studio again as the new owner of Chill TV and your boss. Yeah! yeah. Right. Well, well, I would just like to be the first to welcome you to Chill Rock tonight. I mean, yeah. it's going to be Thanks, a great pleasure working with you, with all of you. Yeah. And guess what? I got you all gifts. Oh, oh no. see, see, I knew, I knew she was right. going to do that. He did say that. I yeah. knew that. All right. Okay, okay, everyone. Okay, there's, there's one more part of the Secret Santa program I didn't tell you about. Oh. oh. The surprise. Oh. Ooh. We like surprises. Surprise. Well, it's not obviously a surprise anymore, but uh, this is in thanks for, for thank you for all your great work. Yeah. Well, oh. your great work. Thank you so there much. Thank you. I appreciate okay. that. I hope you don't, yeah, that's uh... Oh my God, look at all those zeros of Christmas bottom line. Oh, yeah. oh my nice. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, my <laughs> Thank you, oh, John. Oh, thank you so much. I can't much. believe it. Ah, there's so much money. What the hell is this? I'm fired? Oh. I'm 
fired. Oh! What? Um, yeah. I got a rock. God bless us, everyone! That's unbelievable. John Wayne, really, thank you. John Wayne, thank, I just gotta say thank you so much, John Wayne. That's amazing. Would you guys, hey, you guys, get, get out of the, get out of the studio. Get your stuff out. Security. Rachel, get out of here. Jeff, get out of here. Go. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Wow, peace. Finally, peace on earth. I'm so blessed. And on that note, I wanna wish on behalf of the entire Chilliwack Tonight cast, well, I guess just myself, a very Merry Christmas. It sort of feels like Christmas must be tonight. So, let's listen to Jay Gavin knock it out of the park. Merry Christmas.
Thanks for watching Chilliwack tonight, all season long. We'll be back next year with an all-new season starting January 23rd. Until then, stay safe, Merry Christmas, and don't forget to watch the Chilliwack Tonight New Year's Eve special. And now, we'd like to share with you one last Christmas song, Just Before the Silent Night, by Brian Dirksen and Stephanie Esau, and a performance segment from the forthcoming holiday special, Christmas in Our House, with Brian Dirksen and Friends. Just before the silent night, that radiant night, holy night. Just before the angel choir sang joy to the world. Travelers rushing everywhere, scared to find no room there. Expectant couple turned away, sent out. Dark. After all your dreams have died, a tiny seed can spring to life. Hold on, the light is breaking through. Don't close your eyes. Just because the world we see has lost its heart is cold and mean. Just because the powerful oppress those in need Doesn't mean the day won't come when justice flows for everyone So we wait in Advent hope just before dawn After all your dreams have died, a tiny rushing everywhere to find something more when everything we need was found long ago in that little town out of bethlehem has come a shepherd for